A bit of everything, spoken for Goblin. Walking into the build, you pass through dark oak trees and enter a beautiful glade. There is a small pond lined with flowers of many kinds, tall sugar cane and big drip leaf. It looks like half a yin yan, with the other side being a flowery space. The inside edge of the pond is home to potatoes and wheat. Wandering over to the other side of the build, you tread over a small bridge and head out of the forest to an open space filled with lanterns and street lights. There's a bright fountain and beyond a Greek temple. The temple contains an illuminated pool. A small curved building is hidden next to a big hill. The building is a home with a long thin corridor following its curved shape. A bright turquoise door stands at the end of it, leading inside the mountain. Inside the mountain is a cosy room filled with floor-to-ceiling mushrooms, vines and flowers. There is a purple bed and a seating area in the corner. The rear wall breaks away to reveal a green glass window showing anyone who walks by the hill a glimpse of the warm underground space. Goblin says, I was kind of going for open and cosy at the same time. I also wanted to include all of my interests like the Greek temple and the garden surrounded by trees. With the house, I decided to take inspiration from ancient Roman architecture with a spin on it. I've always liked the idea of living underground. The concept was always intriguing to me, which is what I did inside the mountain. I filled it with mushrooms and weird plants, naturally, and made it cosy.